Ever pondered how vast and seemingly infinite the universe is, and yet, our understanding of it remains limited? The cosmos, with its myriad galaxies, stars and celestial bodies, has always intrigued us. We've made great strides in comprehending its laws and nuances, through theories like general relativity and quantum mechanics. But still, there remain enigmatic aspects that elude our grasp. Concepts like dark matter and dark energy, the very constituents of our universe, remain shrouded in mystery. Our current theories, as robust as they are, don't quite answer all our questions. So, what if there's more to the universe than meets the eye? What if we could extend our understanding beyond the conventional dimensions of space and time? This is where our journey begins, into the speculative yet fascinating realm of theoretical physics. Dive with us into the realm of theoretical physics as we explore the Observerse theory. Before we embark on this journey, let's refresh our understanding of the universe as we know it. We're all familiar with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which beautifully describes gravity as the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Then we have quantum mechanics, a theory that gives us a peek into the bizarre and often counterintuitive world of the very small, the realm of atoms and subatomic particles. Together, these two pillars of modern physics have been immensely successful in explaining the universe around us. And let's not forget the standard model of particle physics. It's our best description yet of the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. It's given us a map, a guide to the very fabric of reality. Yet despite its success, it leaves us with questions. Big ones. Questions about the nature of dark matter and dark energy, the strange stuff that makes up over 95% of the universe. Questions about the unification of gravity with quantum mechanics, a puzzle that's been teasing us for more than a century. Our current theories, as powerful as they are, seem to be just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. They give us a glimpse of the universe, but they also hint at something more, something beyond. But what if there's more than what meets the eye? Imagine a universe not limited to just space and time, but also pinch to zoom and sheer to tilt. Now you may be wondering, what exactly does this mean? Well, let's dive into the Observerse theory. It's a novel concept that extends our traditional understanding of the universe beyond the conventional dimensions of space and time. The Observerse theory posits that there are extra dimensions, 10 to be precise, that are hidden from our perception. Picture this. Just as you would pinch to zoom in on your smartphone screen or sheer to tilt an image, the universe too, according to this theory, can be manipulated in similar ways in these extra dimensions. This is where the term Observerse comes into play. It's an extension of space-time, a kind of augmented universe, if you will, that incorporates these additional dimensions. These extra dimensions offer a whole new perspective on how we perceive and interact with the universe. But why does this matter? The Observerse theory could provide a new framework for understanding the mysteries of our universe that have long puzzled physicists. It could potentially explain the unexplained, from the nature of dark matter and dark energy to the very origins of the universe itself. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? But as with any theory, the Observerse theory has its fair share of skeptics and challenges, which we'll delve into in the next scene, so hold on to your seats, we're just getting started. Let's delve deeper into the mechanics of this fascinating theory. The Observerse, as we've discussed, extends the idea of space-time, adding another 10 dimensions. These aren't dimensions in the way we traditionally understand them, Instead, they're more like coordinates, directions in which the universe can change and evolve. An analogy given by Eric Weinstein, a mathematician turned physicist and economist is, imagine you have an enormous paper map and you are trying to map out two locations, let's say New York to California from point A to B. On a paper map, it could take quite some time to get the trip mapped sifting through all of the different states, cities, towns, roads, freeways, and interstates. It could be a daunting task. But if someone has a device like an iPad or Android device, they would pull up something like Google Maps and use pinch and zoom to work their way across that map. The pinch to zoom map is a scaled dimension, allowing you to move up, down, left and right like a stack of paper maps one on top of the other. The paper map does not have a scaled dimension but a two-dimensional one, only going from side to side. Using pinch and zoom and sheer to tilt for interplanetary physics could possibly create 10 extra coordinates. Four of them are pinch to zoom and six are sheer to tilt. Sheer to tilt would be like if you had a picture of the Leaning Tower of Pisa on your electronic device. There may be a tool on the device that would enable you to make the tower upright and straight, 
by using a cross gesture with your hands. Imagine space-time as a flat sheet. This sheet can ripple, creating waves which we perceive as gravity. Now, consider being able to pinch this sheet to zoom in on a particular point, or shear it to tilt and shift the universe's structure. These are the 10 extra coordinates. Four of them are pinched to zoom and six are shear to tilt. If you have four dimensions of time, x, y, z of space, you have pinch to zoom and if you have two dimensions like x and z, you have shear to tilt. The first four are the rulers and the other six are the protractors, suggesting they allow for measuring angles or relationships between dimensions. But how do we make sense of this? Enter the concept of a two tensor. In the mathematical language of the universe, tensors are the letters, forming words and sentences that describe the cosmos. A two tensor is a specific type of tensor that describes how space-time changes under these 10 extra coordinates. To visualize this, let's take a step back. Picture an orange. If you squeeze it, you're applying pressure, which changes the shape of the orange. A two tensor describes how the orange, or in our case, the universe, changes shape when you apply these pinch and shear transformations. This is a radical departure from our current understanding of the universe. It suggests a universe that's far more dynamic, one that can change and evolve in ways we never thought possible. It's like giving the universe an extra set of tools, allowing it to twist and turn in new directions. Of course, these are complex ideas, and we're only scratching the surface. The real challenge lies in developing a mathematical framework that can accommodate these 10 extra coordinates and the two tensor. But if successful, it could open up a whole new way of understanding the cosmos. A universe in the Obsiverse could be much more dynamic than we ever imagined. This radical theory could potentially revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Let's delve into the implications and applications of the Obsiverse theory. In the realm of astrophysics, the concept of additional dimensions and the ability to manipulate spacetime could unlock answers to long-standing questions. We might finally comprehend the nature of dark matter and dark energy two enigmatic components that make up a significant part of our universe yet remain shrouded in mystery. In the field of cosmology, this theory could lead to a paradigm shift. If we could pinch to zoom or shear to tilt space-time, we might be able to observe the universe from a completely different perspective. This might provide us with a more comprehensive understanding of the origins and evolution of the universe, a topic that has intrigued humanity since time immemorial. The technological applications of the Obsiverse theory are perhaps the most exciting. If we could manipulate space-time, the possibilities for space travel would be mind-boggling. Imagine being able to zoom across vast cosmic distances or tilt through wormholes to explore other galaxies. This could revolutionize space exploration and potentially make intergalactic travel a reality. Moreover, this theory could also have implications for computational physics and simulations. With a more nuanced understanding of the universe's fabric, we could create more accurate models and simulations of cosmic phenomena, aiding us in our exploration and understanding of the cosmos. However, we must remember that these are potential implications. The Obsiverse theory is still in its infancy and requires a substantial amount of research and empirical evidence. But that's the beauty of science, isn't it? It's a never-ending journey of discovery. Each new theory a stepping stone towards a more profound understanding of our universe. The possibilities are endless. However, like all revolutionary ideas, the Obsiverse theory faces its share of skepticism. Skepticism is a natural response to any new idea that challenges established understanding. It is the scientific community's way of ensuring that only rigorously tested and robust theories make their way into our textbooks. The Obsiverse theory, with its audacious proposal of 10 extra dimensions and concepts like pinch to zoom and shear to tilt, is no exception. It has been met with raised eyebrows and probing questions. Critics argue that the theory is currently more of a philosophical speculation than a scientific theory, as it lacks empirical evidence. In the realm of science, empirical evidence reigns supreme. A theory, no matter how elegant or profound, must make testable predictions that can be verified or falsified through observation or experiment. As of now, the Obsiverse theory falls short in this aspect. It does not yet provide a clear pathway to observation or experiment that could either prove or disprove its claims. Moreover, the theory's complexity makes it difficult for even the brightest minds to fully grasp. This lack of understanding can often lead to resistance and skepticism. While these are valid concerns, they do not necessarily spell the end for the Obsiverse theory. 
Science is a process of continual refinement and revision. Theories are proposed, tested, modified, and sometimes discarded. Despite the skepticism, the pursuit of knowledge must continue. What does this mean for the future of theoretical physics? As we dive deeper into the mysteries of the universe, theories like the Observerse may serve as a beacon, illuminating our path forward. This is the beauty and challenge of theoretical physics. Its ability to continually evolve and adapt, to boldly question what we know and to dare to imagine what might be. Theoretical physics as a field, thrives on the fringe of imagination, on the edge of the known and unknown. It's about pushing the envelope of our understanding about venturing into the realms of what the Observerse theory is just one such venture and attempt to perceive the universe through a unique lens. This is not an end but rather a new beginning an invitation to all of us to join the grand journey of discovery. As we push the boundaries of science the spirit of exploration and discovery remains crucial. Join us in this quest for knowledge by sharing your thoughts and subscribing for more. Thank you for watching.